begin to see what God has done in her life, my life included. And uh, just let's, let us hear uh, from her. So my initial first time coming to church, I was invited by a friend. And at that time, it was about 12 years ago now, my first invitation that I got to Hungry Generation. I had just graduated from a Catholic high school. So when I was invited, I was like, no, it's okay. I already have a church. I already go somewhere, and I'm Catholic, and that's it. And no one's going to convince me to go anywhere else. That was my thought. So I got invited, then invited again, and finally I gave in. I said, if I want to be more like Christ, I should attend and just give it a try. But even before that, I was before coming to the church, I was volunteering, and I was just trying to seek different things in within the church i was trying to present um events to do at the church i was getting shut down anyways i got discouraged but besides that i was just trying to find something else that i had no idea what it was i was like there has to be more than just coming to church and just leaving the same as you came in and if for the most part the life that we had there we grew up catholic my parents were catholic grandma was catholic and um it was like you would go to church, come back, and then just live your regular life. Go to a party, there's barbecues, there's drinking, there's things happening right after church. So I was confused. So I get invited to church, and the moment I walk in, worship was going, and I just, in tears, absolute tears, the moment I came in, I did not know what it was until later on I discovered that it was... Um, encountering the Holy Spirit. Because even then I was like, what is this? Why am I crying so much? But I knew that moment that I stepped in here, I knew that I knew that this was my church. I knew this is where I belong. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Started crying, Holy Spirit encountered her, I was there. <laughs> Continue your testimony. <laughs> so after that, um, there was two big things that really stuck to me the most when I first started coming to church. Um, it was one, someone told me there said, you're going to rewrite your family history. And two was um, to save what well, God commissioned to save souls and make disciples. And again, at that time, I was fresh to all of this. I had no idea really what it meant. I was like, rewrite your family history. How do I do that? I had no idea. But I put my heart and I said, OK, since I was told you're going to rewrite your family history, I thought, I was going to have to physically do something, that I had to go shake my family and, hey, come to church. So I was trying to do that without really knowing. And then when it came to save souls and make disciples, I thought God was going to bring them to me. So I had those two things swapped. And it took about four years for me to really truly four years of me battling and shaking my family members and having arguments and constantly always battling and then not supporting my decision telling me things such as you're catholic you're always going to be catholic you're a baptized catholic your grandma's catholic what is she going to think they're going to be upset with you so i did i faced a lot of family members upset questioning doubting and just talking bad about all these things like why are you going there they're just brainwashing you and things like that so when that happened I kind of got fed up and finally like I truly can say I truly surrendered to God because I thought I had but when I I was just at a point that I finally surrendered and God showed me and revealed to me like you know rewriting the family history was coming from him and the saving souls I kept I had to just continue to do that because I the moment I came in I was on fire I was bringing people in inviting people sometimes I'd have like a whole pew of first timers coming to church so I just continued to do that because that's what I knew and then God slowly sh started to show and reveal to me and just do his work it I mean it's just God who could do that to bring from my brother to Christ, uh, my family receiving Christ, a cousin that I see with his wife back here on Wednesdays. I mean, just God just showing and bringing my family where that is a part of rewriting my family history that I had no idea what it was going to look like. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Amen. When one soul will bring a thousand. Amen. And this is one of the reasons we pray, when we, we bring out the list that we're praying, there's, there's more Sylvia's, there's more John's, there's more David's, there's more Zach's that are written on there, that when their souls get saved, the whole family tree will get saved for the glory of God. Amen. Don't underestimate the prayers that you pray. 
Yes, it's been a span of 12 years, but in that 12 years, the family tree began to be changed. Not just in the U.S., in Mexico and all over the place. Where they're right now, they're saying, teach me more of the God that you serve. Amen? So, go ahead. Share your test. I mean, not mine. No, so with that, it's just, you know, God truly is opening doors. Uh, things within my family where, like I said, my grandma, um, we had a crusade in Mexico. She drove hours just to be there. I have aunties who've given their life to Christ, who follow Pastor Vlad, have his books and everything. So just so many of family members and then those around them, too, that are being impacted. They're sharing our live stream. They're constantly on there. So just to see the true power of God, because only God can do that. And so if I were to say, you know, anything to you guys, if it's your first time here and coming in from a Catholic background or a background where you just, you know, battling, just surrender to God, give it all to God, put him first and he will do the rest. One thing too is like salvations, continue to preach the word because the moment you take care of God's people, God's taking care of your people. So come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you so much, Sylvia. This is so awesome to see.